Hello everyone and welcome back to DCS World where I'm going to have some fun with the Harrier around Dubai. I have previously done the training missions during a live stream. Well, some of the training missions. There are a lot of training missions with the Harrier. Of course, I'm only able to fly it because of the current uh, free trial period. And so I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. And so far it seems easier to fly than the one in X-Plane 11 by a small margin. But that doesn't mean I haven't crashed a lot, so let's see. And that's normally because I'm pushing it a little bit too far. We'll we'll see if I can be gentle with it. Let's get the nozzle to 60 degrees for Estol. And let's try not to hurt it too much. Whoa, you're not supposed to be going up yet. Oh, it's actually pretty light. Only uh, 6,100 pounds of fuel. Okay, it's practically VTOL capable right now. That's good. Um, let's try and get it to 300 knots and then see how soon I can bring it to a low semi hover, not a full hover. I don't want to use up the water, the H2O, too quickly. And that's what uh, sort of controls the roll when you're hovering. Okay, so that's 300. So I'm gonna slow down. And before we hit the buildings, well, not literally, but as, uh, before we get to the buildings over there, I want to sort of get to a hover state. Um, in the exterior view, it's really hard to figure out your vertical speed. I learned this the hard way. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm doing it in the cockpit, even though it'd be much more visually appealing otherwise. Now you can see the vertical speed is go going serious there. But we, can, we need to slow down. Okay, now we're at 140 knots. That's good. But what I want to do around here. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The roll just went a little bit wacky there. We're still going pretty fast horizontally, though. Okay. I wonder if we can find a, like, car to follow. Oh, there's the highway. I guess we could go along it really, really slowly. Not really, really slowly right now, though. I'm going a bit fast compared to what I wanted to do. Okay, let's follow along the highway here. Still going faster than I want to. I really wish she'd stop bugging me. I wonder if there's a way to turn Betty off. Obviously we're going to be doing irrational things here, so you know. We don't need to be reminded of the fact constantly. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. That is a nice sort of situation. Uh, we're still going a little bit faster than I wanted. I wanted to go car pace. Though they do drive a lot of good sports cars around here, I suppose. Okay, um, slower please. Okay, that's pretty low at least. I'm tempted, you know. Um, it's a tough choice between this and the F-A-18. I didn't get to fly this in the original free trial period because, you know, they were only available for two days and I just missed it. Oh, I wonder if we would collide with the trees, I don't know. I mean, this is its own kind of fun. I wouldn't want to necessarily get into a tangle with it, you know, but... It's good for sightseeing, which is why I got it in X-Plane 11 in the first place. Definitely good for sightseeing. Well, at least Betty's not bugging me too much now. Apparently she's gotten the gist of what I wanted to do here. Oh, road turns. Um, how safe is it for us to turn here? Oh, 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 no. It's not safe at all. We don't quite turn like cars do. Um, alright. Okay. Well, you know. Live and learn. Well, we, we have uh, 6,200 again. Let me see how our... Vertical situation is two thousand uh, twenty one thousand. Technically, it's only supposed to do vertical at twenty thousand five hundred, I think. But maybe we're close enough. So let's try that part. Um, not landing, take off. And I never did. Well, we could probably keep it in auto, but why, why don't we just go ahead and put it on S toll? Okay, other people are really excited right now for some reason. So, 80 degrees. And... Here we go. Yep, vertical is good. Okay, let's do the vertical to horizontal transition. Gear up. Uh, we're wobbling a little bit though. Uh, there we go, keep going, keep going. Very good. Alright, maybe a performance check is in order? It actually climbs pretty well. Okay, what, what are you cautioning me about exactly? Oh, we should probably get uh, stop the H2O. Yeah, we used like half of it already. Okay, outside. It climbs really well. It doesn't really like being inverted though, for a long period of time. Well, let's try it.
Well, here I'm practically gonna stall it. It just naturally rolls over though. I didn't roll it, it rolled itself. Let's get a better look at things. Very smooth flying, actually. Can't go too much faster than this. I wonder if I can sort of do a backflip into uh, S toll situation. So let's just pull up and just roll over. Okay, well. Oh, okay, it doesn't like that very much. Okay, yeah, we're pulling up. I mean, we slowed down, of course, but we're far from S toll. Okay, let's try and get to the Burj Dubai and everything. I wonder if they put any easter eggs on these maps that you can only see if you're really, 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 really close. Uh, it's not like she's gonna warn me when I really do something stupid. What's that globe building? Interesting. Okay, we were slow. Okay. Got a crane there. It's a nice crane. We're building something around. Okay, so like... Urge to buys over there. Okay, we need to hang a left smoothly so that we're not falling. I don't want to go up too much either. But we have to be careful about this. Okay, I sort of see the base of the Burj Dubai there, yeah. Okay. Well, let's go up and down the Burj Dubai, I suppose, maybe? Looking good, actually, uh, when you look up close. You know, the real test if, is if you get up close to it, how does it look? We don't want to start going backwards, it'll get unstable like that, pretty sure. Um, okay, there it is. We don't have the oxygen on, not the oxygen, the water on right now. Going 300 feet per minute up. Oh, that's not 300 feet per minute anymore. Trying to turn tightly is not a good idea. Apparently. Pontiac 
Oh, okay, that's pretty steep. We're gonna start going backwards like that. Uh... Okay, well... I feel like we should get an exterior view of this. If I don't kill myself like this. Okay, don't kiss it, don't kiss it. Oh. We don't want any international incidents or anything. All very peaceful, uh, it's an aerial display of great prowess or something. I think I've had enough playing with the Verge Dubai though. So maybe a uh, parting. Yeah, that's good. The main strip, as it were. Well, let's get to Abu Dhabi. I guess that's the next city over. I'm trying to use the instruments at the bottom of the screen here instead of the HUD is a little bit troublesome. I think it decided that it wants to land. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. This may be considered a bad situation. Oh dear. I lost another wing. I think I set fire to that building. This isn't good. Oh wait! Fire went out. I'm surprised the engine's still running. Okay, maybe I should demonstrate like a proper like landing for once. So let's give that a go. We once again have the same amount of fuel, so I know we can do the vertical takeoff. We'll get it uh, takeoff stuff there. Okay. All right. Gear up. I mean, maybe I should just touch down now. Hmm. Okay, how about we slow down? Okay, would they have the gear down or up? Yeah. There we go. Okay, let's try and hover a little bit here while well, we still have water though. Because, like, once our water runs out, it's going to be, I guess, tougher to handle. I haven't actually had the experience yet. Mm. So, like, yeah. Almost hovering. Uzi 1, in from the southwest, engaging armor at bullseye. 
There we go. I'll say anything below. And then we could flatten it out here. We're below 10 knots and we get the feet per minute flat. Okay. Well, we're running out of water though, so let's land. That's why it's got the master caution, I think. And gently, gently. Oh, we're straying, we're straying. Ah, why am I going sideways? No, don't do that. Forward. Alright. Oh, weird. Alright. So we can do that, but we're running out of water, basically. So let's just go auto. Oh, is that a cruise or auto? Maybe it, that's auto. Um, and the water can be off. And let's do S toll, though we're a little bit askew, so let's try and line up with the runway, I suppose. Um, was it differential brakes? Oh, that's not right. Oh, that's. Um, how do I stop that? Okay, that's how I stop that. Oops. That was time warp. I get stuff mixed up. Anyway, well, we're sort of on the tarmac here. Let's just get on with it. Heck, what's S toll for, except for taking off where you're not supposed to be taking off from? Okay, and then we want to ultimately do an S-Toll landing, but we'll take a circuit around first. I really like the map display on here. I, I don't know which planes have that sort of a map and which don't. It's very convenient. Okay, and let's take a quick external view. The Harrier trimmed out and level flying for the first time instead of going up and down and all over the place. Calmly doing its business. You know, a uh, short landing on a runway isn't exactly the most challenging thing though, but perhaps I should get more practice before I try anything too daredevil. Uh, not entirely clear what short landing targets might be viable. I anyway. Maybe we can try for like the runway threshold before the main runway starts. Oh, well, a little bit high for that. Yeah, and fast. Go on, slow down. Man, I'm taking most of the runway to try and do an Estol landing. This is horrible. Come on. It's so light. It feels so light right now. Okay. And off to the side because I forget how the nose wheel steering or steering at all works on this. Well, at least we didn't crash and burn this time. As with most things, still have a lot to learn, of course. But perhaps you can tell me between the F 18 and the Harrier, which one would you pick? Should be an interesting choice. Anyway, so with that, that was a little bit of playing around with the Harrier. And I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.